Well, hello, uh, my name is uh, Mas Palsvi. I am the chairman of a newly started political party here in uh, Denmark. I'm standing here in Copenhagen. The uh, political party's name is JFK21. I will tell you more about why that is. Uh, we're standing in front of uh, what is called Denmark's National Bank. And uh, behind me we have uh, the parliament, it's called Folketinget. And the next wonderful old building over there is uh, the old stock exchange built by Christian IV in, uh, I believe, around 400 years ago. Um, now, first of all, I want to say that we have started a political party uh, called JFK21. And we, we have named it after John F. Kennedy because he made an executive order, 11,110, where he wanted to produce government money and like it is like a public bank, produce money through the uh, Ministry of Finance in, instead of the privately owned Federal Reserve in the, uh, they have in the United States. In Denmark we have um, a similar system. What happened in Denmark was, with our Denmark's National Bank, it's uh, also privately owned, well at least it's owned by a secret uh, foundation, we don't know who the real beneficiaries are. What happened in Denmark is actually quite, a, quite an interesting story. It's very similar to what is happening now with the um, way that the central banks globally are being used to finance uh, aggressive wars on, um, on innocent countries, illegal wars. We saw that in Libya, we saw that in Syria and in several other countries through history. Um, Denmark was a very similar situation. We had the second largest navy in the world and the, the banksters in England were unhappy with us, were afraid we would support Napoleon. So they sent out um, Lord Nelson and he, he started carpet, bar, carpet bomb in Copenhagen. And, um, and in the end we surrendered and shortly after we went bankrupt. And after we went bankrupt, we, there was a privatization in 1818 of, um, of our central bank. I believe it's called Copenhagen's uh, uh, National Bank or Copenhagen Central Bank. That was in 1818, and it was done by a, a Danish nobleman and um, and a bank in Germany owned by the Rothschild family. Then in 1936, uh, this uh, this central bank was was um, was sold for no money at all to this private foundation, which is called Denmark's National Bank, and um, that was. Um, that was done for no money at all and uh, it has been set up in the way that they, they officially transfer all their, all their revenues to the Danish government every year but they're allowed to keep whatever money they wish from, uh, from each year. So they have a pretty good deal.